hey guys. <laughs> oh, you got Matt, Matt, Matt and Shane's. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, dude. Hey, dude. Come on, man. This is our first one ever. Yes. Matt and Shane's Don't Secret Podcast it. is thrilled to announce our new sponsor. Sheath Underwear. That's why we love Sheath Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you a real testimonial? Yes. Dude. So, you know, I, I was. Do this to me, a compound? Yeah, I hate it. Dude, I'm telling you, though. Because I don't, they're, they're, you know how I am. I was like, I have to try it. And I, I'm an odd. Yeah, we're not going to promote anything. We don't Honest try God. ourselves. Because you know I like putting stuff around my, putting my d*** around stuff in terms of clothes. <laughs> Manhood Canada. I push that pretty hard. What's that? It's this thing you wrap your d*** in. It's like if you want to gain the sensitivity back that you lost from being circumcised. You what? wrap your, you like, you wrap your. Like a, a fucking yeah, he- like a headband. They're, they're not dude. paying us. We're they're doing not an ad. They're not paying us. Like a do rag for your penis. But, so I, I like, I like having <laughs> like my do-rag. dong. I like having. It was pretty much. It was like it's a do-rag. exactly like a do-rag. dong rag. For your penis. So I, dude, I, I was like, I like having. I'm no stranger to having my dong just mummified going out yes. in the world. So I was like, you know, sheath was sheath wasn't dealing <laughs> with someone who doesn't know about wrapping up your dong. So I throw on the undies, dude. They tell you it felt at first. I went, this feels kind of weird. They have a hole. You put your penis through the hole. It sits in a little cubby. And your nut sack. Then your nuts sit in like a little sack, a little, a little kangaroo, kangaroo pouch, pouch. For your nuts. Exactly. What? How about that? Both of us. And they say, they say, give it a couple days. I'm not going to lie. I put my dick in and put my nuts in. I go, the hell? I don't know about it. I'm like, I guess this feels all right. It's like wrestling with a but friend. But they, they, they gave me five, four pairs. So every day I got up, I tucked my little p- into my thing. I fucking <laughs> put my nuts in my kangaroo pouch. And then I noticed... The little guy came, started coming out of his turtle shell a little. Yeah, goes, you get a little plump while it, you're walking dude, around. It, oh, that's, because of the sensation? It no, just because you your your dick is <laughs> just you're like. you're mummified, you just get plump. Yeah, dude, when you're like, yeah, when you're feeling, it was weird. Like, I started, you know, I noticed I was like. Is that like, because circulation's better? It's just your dong feels, your dong's supposed you're to be wrapped in foreskin. It. Your dong's supposed to be wrapped in foreskin. It's like the weighted blankets for people with anxiety. You just yes. lay like a hundred yes. pound blanket. God, dude. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So the, I, my honest to God testimonial is after four days, I ran out of my sheaths. I didn't have any clean sheaths. Nothing. Threw on a Hanes. And I will be honest. I went, I need Not the sheaths same. back, bro. You, you, you get used to them, man. They're, they are nice. What do you wear? The Just briefs? Mm-hmm. You're not wearing loose boxers like it's fucking 92, are you? Not nah, boxer briefs. I'm on boxer briefs. Yeah. But they're, yeah, like, they're, guys, I'm on like farted out loose boxers. The briefs. idea, yeah, my boxers are <laughs> holes out. farted, <laughs> blown <laughs> out, dude. There's a pouch in my butt where the farts have. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yes. There's two pouches, one for your dick and one for your balls. The idea of sheath, this is big. Yeah. The idea of sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier. Dr. Robert Patron. Check out the story, and it's interesting. If you do not know the story of Robert Patron, he was a soldier. He went to Iraq. He was in Fallujah. He was stationed by a hospital. There was a woman there. Have you heard this story? There was a woman there who was about to give birth. He literally delivered her baby. He delivered this Iraqi woman's baby. And then right in front of her, he shot it in the head. Sheath underwear. And after he shot the baby in the head, he ate it in front of her. He, She grabbed the gun to try to kill herself and him. He wouldn't let her do it. <laughs> <laughs> he made her watch him eat her newborn child, whom he had shot. Underwear enthusiast. During his second tour in Iraq, <laughs> he's not one of those. He's not one of those one tour. P- nah, dude. <laughs> I first read that, I was like, "Holy shit, General Patton!" Not General, but Robert Patton. Robert Patton. Oh, support the show and support this awesome veteran-owned company. Now I got to read this. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use the promo code Drenched. To get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. Again. Again. <laughs> That's SheathUnderwear.com. Promo code drenched. Get Sheath Underwear and let them support your f***ing <laughs> balls, dude. Support the troops, too. If you hate them, if you hate the troops, I understand you're not getting them. But, dude, they... I liked them. Yeah, Matt... I wouldn't Matt, lie. Matt called me. I was wearing them. I just happened to be wearing them when he called me. And he, he said, you down. And he said, do you have your d- in the pouch? And I said, no, I'm just wearing them. That, that and was he said, no, toss your d- nuts in that pouch. It's a little pouch that you can put, not little, but it's a pouch to put your d- and balls in. And I did, and it worked. It doesn't take much to jostle them either. It's just fucking... Mm-hmm. Well, I'm more... Mine's more Wait, like, you could do it with no hands. I'm more of like a Plinko, dude. It's, it's like fucking, putting a knot in a cherry It's like a little Plinko, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're very talented, dude. You Unwrapping a that, Starburst. Dude. I've I'll seen do- your d- You cannot do that, dude. What are you saying? I got too much d- to pop them through? No. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, why? What? So, what about my? You're saying your team 
You can flop it into the pouch. The pouch is tight against I'm it. saying, no, I'm saying I can't when believe I, you're fucking you pull them on, me. if you don't think about it too much, you can pull them oh, on. Oh, pull them on like that. Exactly. I you see. Can, yeah, you can't just go like like that. I'm well, talking. That's, that's what you're indicating. Up. When you're pulling them on, I got it to the point where I can just go and I'm locked Get in. Get your nuts in Flap the, the balls out, pop the balls in. Check out the story. It's interesting. It's somewhat inspiring that a man would come back from murdering civilians and start a company where he sells underwear. To other men, because he's a tough man that didn't have any gay experiences in the military at all. He's a man that is tough, that thinks about sweaty balls and shafts, but he loves b and there was absolutely no strange Brokeback Mountain style experience in the tents over there in Fallujah. Do not think about it at all. It's good underwear. It legit is. Mm -hmm. Cheeseunderwear.com. It really is good underwear. Yeah, we wear it. And the guy who started it really is a gay murderer. <laughs>